What is up guys? Um, so it's Tuesday night, December 15th. Um, and tonight I wanted to try something a little bit different in the kitchen. Um, officially home from work for the day. Stopped by the grocery store and picked up a few things. I want to try to make a macro friendly lasagna. Um, lasagna tends to be really high just in fat because of all of the cheeses and things that people throw in there and it's usually full fat. I know some people throw some egg in there. Um, sausage and you know meat that's often not lean meat things like that so what I picked up here for my first attempt at this and this could take multiple attempts um, just have some spices I'm just going to use this Italian seasoning blend focus focus all right there we go Italian seasoning blend um, this is just a blend from Aldi that I get that has like oregano basil all that good stuff in it because why make it harder some kosher salt um, some fat-free cottage cheese um, tomato paste to kind of thicken things up with some diced tomatoes. Um, instead of throwing eggs in, we're going to do just some egg whites to reduce the fat content there. Um, and part of the reason I did that is because I could not find fat-free mozzarella at my grocery store. So I just got regular mozzarella um, and then a pound of 90-10 ground beef. And then I got um, some oven-ready lasagna noodles going to give these bad boys a try and see if it kind of helps it with the consistency like when you cut it so the pieces stay like nice and solid square um, and then Reese's because I really wanted Reese's trees because I haven't had any yet this season and I'm a little bit stressed out my cat is still sick and now I think my other one is sick um, so yeah I'm stress eating and PMSing a little bit TMI you're gonna get over it yeah if you don't know about cats I am a cat lady um, if cats go for too long without eating the, their maintenance level calories, it makes them really susceptible to something called fatty liver disease, which is fatal. So I'm not, I mean, they are eating a little bit, so I'm not too, too worried, but I just don't know what's wrong with them. So, um, if anybody's watching this who has cats who has any tips or ideas of how to trick them into eating, or if you have kids, maybe, I don't know, maybe tricks are similar, who knows. So I am getting going on the lasagna. So the first step here that we're going to do is brown up some ground beef. Let's get a better view on that. We're going to brown up some ground beef, and what we've also got on here is maybe like two teaspoons of minced garlic, um, some salt, and about two tablespoons of that Italian seasoning blend. Um, you're going to put more of that Italian seasoning blend in our cheese mixture, which is over here. Um, and once that meat browns up, we're going to go ahead and put in our tomato paste. Not this whole can, maybe like half the can. I'm not really going off a recipe here. Most of this is just guesswork. So trial and error, we'll figure it out. And then a can of diced tomatoes as well is gonna go in with the meat mixture. Um, so funny story, I thought that I had some Parmesan cheese to add to this cheese blend, but I don't. So the cheese blend is just going to be the fat-free cottage cheese from earlier, um, the shredded mozzarella, I think, I think like a cup of this, I can't remember and um, some egg whites to just kind of hold it together and give it a little bit more um, texture. So I'm gonna keep going on browning up this beef over here. And um, yeah, I will show you where we get as things move along and we have the assembly line ready to assemble the lasagna. So stick around. All right, so here is the assembly line. That is our one pound of 90-10 ground beef with a can of diced tomatoes half a can of tomato paste, um, some garlic, Italian seasoning blend, and a little bit of salt. And then here you have the blend of egg white, um, non-fat cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, with more of the Italian seasoning blend. I think I actually might have messed this up a little bit. I think I was supposed to whip up the egg whites a little bit before I mixed the cheese all in, but you know, whatever, we're gonna give it a go. And then the noodles and the pan. I'm gonna be using an eight by 11 because I cannot find my nine by 13. So um, the way I'm going to start this is to put a little bit of this red meat sauce seasoning, meat, whatever, um, just a little bit into the bottom of the glass dish. And this is just to avoid us having to spray it, basically. I'm um, not even putting like a full layer in, like you can see there, just enough to kind of like coat the bottom and smoosh it around a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna have that before I go in with three of the lasagna noodles. Again, these are the oven ready ones, so you don't have to boil them first. Um, and I'm gonna do three of those per layer. And I'm gonna flip this back around so you can kind of just like watch me do this as I'm doing this. So there's the layer of three. And remember that bottom layer wasn't a full layer of the meat sauce, it was just kind of like a prep layer, I guess, if you will. So 
We're supposed to be able to do two layers with this, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down the middle. So my layers are roughly even. So there's our first layer of the meat sauce. It was a little bit tricky. I needed two hands to do that. And then I'm going to kind of just do the same thing with the cheese, try to find like halfway-ish. And rubber spatula is gonna make this a little bit easier. Just kind of like slap that in on top of the meat layer. And just kind of dolloping that. I'll spread it around a little bit once I get most of this over here. So then you'll just push it around kind of like that. And then you'll go back in with three more of the noodles to start your next layer. I remember like lasagnas when I was younger being made with ricotta cheese instead of the cottage cheese. Um, so I think that's where we might be saving some of the fat. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really remember ricotta cheese being all that fatty, so who knows. So you've seen the first layer, you kind of have a good idea of how we do in this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish building the lasagna. It's gonna be one more layer of meat, one more layer of cheese, and then I think I'm gonna top it with noodles and take a little bit of the dregs of the sauce from the meat stuff on the top. And then I've got my oven set at 350. We're gonna bake that bad boy for 20 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. So, fingers crossed, I think it'll look okay, but I'm not sure how it's gonna taste yet. Let's see. So here we are with about one ninth of the lasagna. Um, it actually held together pretty well when I first took it out. You can kind of see on the side, but then I missed some and it sort of started to fall apart. The rest of it is over here. Um, it didn't come out like as beautifully as I would have hoped. You can see where I kind of just did surgery on it and carved out my own piece. Um, the noodles on the top didn't soften up as well as what was the, the rest on the inside. So that was sort of disappointing. Um, but I'm going to taste it anyway and see how it came out, see what it tastes like. I feel like this could be a ongoing a sort of experimentation and just see how it goes. So I'm gonna get a bite with a little bit of everything in there. Let's see. Mm. The cottage cheese flavor is a little bit heavy. Um, I definitely do wish I had some Parmesan in there. But otherwise, like the spices are good. Like it was a good amount of Italian seasoning, which is really nice because I actually thought maybe I put in way too much. So yeah, and the noodles on the bottom and middle layer came out the perfect texture. So macros for this are gonna be up on the screen and full list of ingredients and breakdown will be in the bottom bar for you guys. But if you are cutting and you can fit this into your macros more easily than other stuff and you really are just craving pasta, I think this would totally fit the bill. And you get a pretty big portion, you know, like in an eight by 11 pan, I measured out the macros to be for nine pieces. And I mean, like you saw it was on this plate. It was a pretty decent size piece of lasagna. And since I'm not cutting, I can even have two pieces if I really want to. So that is that. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this experiment. And I will tune you guys in next time I want to play with macro lasagna. Bye-bye.